The services that we're providing through the REC Center, we're using the final results of meaningful use as a driver for all of our processes. As we plan and implement an EHR, we make sure that the meaningful use criteria are planned for within the workflow, within the templates, within the training, and with all the, in all the reporting. Of the services that we provide, we look at whether somebody has an EHR or not, do meaningful use gap anal analyses if they do, work on them for workflow redesign, help optimize their system, provide extra training, and provide support as they make their conversions. If somebody doesn't have an EHR, we still do a meaningful use gap analysis to find out where their paper workflows are at this point. We help them with system selection, workflow design, implementation, training, and support. The American Recovery and Reinvestment Act authorizes the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services to provide reimbursement incentives for eligible professionals and hospitals who are successful in becoming meaningful users of EHRs. These payments begin in 2011 and will gradually decrease. Starting in 2015, providers are expected to have adopted and be actively using a certified EHR in compliance with meaningful use definitions or they will be subject to financial penalties under the Medicare. The focus on meaningful use is a recognition that better health care does not come solely from the adoption of technology itself, but through the exchange and the use of health information to best inform the clinical decisions at the point of care. Stage one criteria will fo focus on the recording of the health information in a coded format, tracking conditions and be able to communicate and coordinate care with different providers of care and different points of care, be able to implement clinical decision support tools to facilitate disease and medication management, and to be, finally be able to report these clinical quality measures and public health information. CMS's goal for stage two meaningful use is to improve even further the quality of care through the exchange of information. For stage three, CMS has a goal to improve the quality, safety, and efficiency through decision support tools and patient self-management tools. They expect to roll out stage two by the end of 2011 and stage three by the end of 2013. We're going to have to wait and see when they actually come out. The Medicare incentives will, cannot be paid to any eligible provider whose certified EHR begins, installation begins after 2015. In addition, professionals and hospitals otherwise eligible for these incentive payments under Medicare who fail to become meaningful users will be subject to payment penalties or downward adjustments. After 2015, there'll be a 1% drop in Medicare reimbursements to individual providers or groups, 1% each year. With after a three year, they're going to reevaluate and decide how much more of a drop in the Medicare payments there will be. As set forth in the regulations, eligible hospitals that are not meaningful users by 2015 will also be subject to a reduced rate, which will apply to three quarters of their percentage increase that they would have otherwise received. For Medicare requirements, the first year for which an eligible provider applies for and receives their incentive payment is 90 days, a 90-day continuous period beginning and ending within that year. For every year after the first payment year, the EHR reporting period is one full year. A payment is equal to a calendar year and incentive payments end after 2016. A qualifying eligible provider will receive the incentive payment equal to 75% of their Medicare allowable charges cover for covered professional services over a payment year, subject to the maximum payments seen on the previous slide. The Medicaid incentives, each of the individual providers can receive up to $63,750. Even though both state and provider participation are voluntary, the states all recognized and easily antis eagerly anticipated the precedented opportunity presented by ERA to improve the quality of care for the Medicaid beneficiaries. States understood how these funds could provide Medicaid, its plans, and provider networks with the technology for improvement. For instance, funds that would enable them to create quality reporting tools that provide timely feedback about care gaps, missed opportunities, and disparities in care. 